This is a tidal wave, a searing tsunami of molten rock blasting from beneath the earth and rolling across farmland, roads, homes. Only one way out for residents in this southeast corner of the Big Island. The fear is it will soon be cut. How dangerous is it? To be up close, very dangerous. So intense it can be seen from space, 400 kilometres up, in this NASA photo. The risk from Kilauea is not just its rivers and fountains of red-hot lava, but toxic gas. I feel saturated when I go home at night. And home is no longer safe. The National Guard wants people ready to jump aboard choppers. If the road is cut off, we'll designate points that they go to and we'll start air evacuation. It's three weeks to the day since Leilani Estate was transformed from a tropical paradise to this ongoing volcanic disaster and things appear to be getting worse. Fissures like this one are spewing out lava at an astonishing rate, 20 to 40 cubic metres a second. 50 homes are gone, 2,000 people have fled. Despite the threat, some refuse to leave. Where do I go? I'm 77 years old. I want to stay right here. This family moved in just two weeks before the eruptions began. That was kind of heartbreaking for us. And bone breaking. Remember the guy hit by a lava bomb on his veranda? His leg was smashed by a missile the size of a bowling ball. Snapped it in half at the ankle and foot. Hawaiians are no strangers to volcanic activity, but this ordeal by fire is beyond anything most have ever experienced. In Hawaii, Mike A. Moore, 7 News. This is just incredible for its power. At night, you can see how dramatic it all is. Lava gushing from one giant fissure here, forming a lava lake, flowing past three more as it goes into the ocean. There is actually a house to the right of us here. We spoke to the owner about what's happening in his backyard. I'm on a high spot. I got a low spot where the lava's gonna eventually go off, hopefully. But you never know, it could creep up here and creep up here and set something on fire and then there you go. More than 20 fissures continue to open up around the Leilani estates and geologists simply don't know how long this will continue for. It could continue for weeks, possibly months. And for some families, evacuation is very difficult because large lava flows like this one stand in the way. We are with the National Guard who have escorted us in here and they're carrying meters to measure the sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere around us. And They've told us at any moment we could be told we have to run to get out of here. It's that dangerous.